Hello everyone and welcome to next lecture on heterospory in pteridophytes. Uh, in last lecture we discussed about uh, the heterospory and after that we discussed about the origin of heterospory and uh, today we will discuss about uh, the evidences that, that support about the origin of heterospory that how heterospory evolved or how it originated in plant and specifically in pteridophytes. Uh, the first one uh, that we will discuss today that is about the evidences from the fossils that uh, were discovered by various scientists and that comes under the head that is paleobotanical evidences. Now if, uh, if you remember in last lecture uh, we discussed about uh, the geological time scale about the era and the periods uh, during which uh, the evolution of land plants uh, where it occurred and today we will discuss about something uh, that uh, for example, if you remember, we discussed about the Paleozoic era and in that, suppose we have, we can study about suppose this is your Silurian period, then we have the Devonian and then we have the Carboniferous. These are the periods. Uh, now if we talk about uh, what is the importance of these periods, uh, firstly if we study uh, what happened during these periods uh, that in Devonian we can divide uh, one, two and three phases. The first one as early, next one as mid and late. So we can divide this Devonian period in like early Devonian, mid Devonian and late Devonian. If we talk about the early Devonian, uh, what happened during this uh, phase that appearance of heterospory and increase in spore diversity that means what happened during this time in Devonian in early Devonian that means when it started appearance of heterospory that means it uh, through the fossil record it was noticed that uh, heterospory it appeared during this time and what is the spore diversity that means a uh, different types of forms of spores were discovered so this happened during early and when we talk about the mid we will see that extreme heterospory was observed that means during mid devonian period what was observed that is extreme heterospory it was observed so this happened during this time that is the mid Devonian period and along with that extreme heterospory now we see that the spore diversity the diversity in plants it also increased to a much extent so this is one important point uh, that you should note about the mid Devonian period so this is what happened now there are what are the evidences that support uh, this origin we will study about some examples the first one uh, those evidences we are discussing about the evidences from the fossils 
so various number we have number of fossil records uh, that uh, provide an idea or that suggest an idea that how uh, heterospory it evolved already we have seen an origin of heterospory that it is related to uh, nutrition and uh, decrease in the number of spores and sporangium now how fossils the, uh, they suggest that actually this is the cause of origin of heterospory and this is only uh, it is supported by various facts uh, that is presented by, or that was presented by various scientists uh, with their discoveries the first one that happened uh, that was by Williamson and Scott in 1894. So this is first piece of evidence that was provided by Williamson and Scott in 1894. Uh, what they described, these two, what they described, they described about one tegrophyte that is extinct that was Calamostachys. Now this is the extinct genera and what they found about the fossils, they describe two species. One was Calamostachys Miriana and what was found in that, that it was Homosporus. Please take a note that it was homosporus. Whatever we are discussing, that is all because of fossil record studies. Now, what was observed by these scientists, what they discovered, that in this genera and this species, though it was homosporus, what was observed that in sporangium, in sporangium, some spores were of unequal size. That means some were smaller and some were larger. Now this was the condition that was observed by these two in this species of Calamostachys. What was the other species? Other species was Calamostachys cassiana. What was observed? It was heterosporous uh, and it was observed that microspores they were produced inside microsporangium and megaspores inside megasporangium that means two different types or kinds of sporangia uh, it was or it, it, were, uh, it was discovered and what was observed what important point that in some or inside mega sporangium what was observed that suppose this is your mega sporangium it had smaller spores and along with the degenerated or aborted that means spores were small and along with that aborted that means what was observed in this species of calamostachys that okay we we had separate sporangium that means i they had what they discovered that some were microsporangia and other were mega so inside microsporangium uh, we have 
microspores. Inside megasporangium, we have megaspores. But what was observed in megasporangium that some spores were smaller and others were aborted. That means ultimately, what was the inference? What was the conclusion out of this that was uh, suggested that reduction? That means why, how reduction? That means after abortion decrease in the number. So what is the cause of this reduction or uh, change or uh, difference in size and number? That is basically the abortion. That means due to abortion of spores, what happened? The size, it became larger and the number, it became less. So this was, that was given by Williamson and Scott. So this is the first piece of evidence. If we talk about the next piece, that was given by Scott in 1901. Now what he described, he described in one of the plant of Lycopsida, that is Lepidocarpon and what he observed that in in megasporangium what was observed that in side suppose this is tetrad out of four megaspores what happened three were aborted so ultimately what happened after three were aborted only one mature now this was what uh, observed by Scott in 1901. That is a separate piece of evidence. That means what he observed that in Lepidocarpon, that is in Lycopsida, what he observed that in Megasporangium, uh, out of four Megaspores, that is the result of uh, meiosis when we have spore tetrad. So out of those four, three got aborted and only one matured and it became the megaspore. So this is the second piece of evidence. Next piece of evidence that is the third one that was given by Today in 1906, and he discovered he he reported in which genre it was in Sphenophyllum. So what he observed in this. In Sphenophyllum, he observed that in in some sporangia, in some sporangia, suppose this is your sporangium, what he observed that suppose these are your spore tetrads many were aborted or degenerated that means if i have number so many were aborted and what was the result of this whatever were uh, remaining increase in size that means from this size from this size there was increase in size why there was increase in size what, what was the inference due to, again, the same concept that was due to 
abortion. Now what happened over here? Abortion of tetrads. That means after meiosis, when spore mother cell, it gives rise to spore out of four. All the four, that means in some cases three and in some cases here, what happened? That all the four tetrad or all the four spore, they were aborted or degenerated and whatever were, what, whatever remained, they increased in size. So it was given by Thode, that was in 1906. So this is the third piece of information. Uh, I hope uh, whatever we have discussed that is very clear to you. Uh, more evidences are there. Uh, so I hope whatever we have discussed that is very clear along with the examples. Now this is how we can uh, give the idea that actually how heterosporate originated in plants. So there are a number of uh, more examples. Uh, in next video I will discuss about that few remaining examples and then we will uh, move to next uh, uh, part that is about the evidences or development so developmental pattern that means uh, developmental evidences. I hope everything is very clear and whatever you feel like please do comment in the comment section. Thank you for watching this video.